when you are deeply hurt or offended, that's a good time to pray. Because in this state of pain, hurt, desperation, your prayers are so genuine, honest, full of faith, and God can listen to your prayers then. But you have to be very careful what you pray about and what you ask God for at that moment. Welcome to Afri Trends. And this video is on how to pray when you're deeply hurt and offended. Now, how you shouldn't pray is you shouldn't ask God to punish your offender. You shouldn't ask God to take revenge for you. You shouldn't ask God to punish the generations of the person that offended you. You shouldn't do it because it is wrong. And not only is it wrong, think about it this way. That person may have offended you deeply but he may still be favored in the sight of God. We are all God's children. So he has this protection or she has this protection from God. And even if the person doesn't have this protection, maybe someone very close to this person has God's protection. Maybe this person has a very prayerful mother or father or wife, husband, whose prayers are also covering the person. So your prayer isn't going to work. So whenever somebody offends you, don't pray evil on that person. But there's something you can do and a prayer you can do. And that is at this time, in your heart, your pain, your desperation, Pray and ask God for something. God is like a father. Just like any one of us that is a father or mother. Imagine your child comes to you and says, um, Mom or Dad, my sister hit me. Now, hit my sister back. Would you want to hit the other child necessarily? But if this child is crying and comes to you crying, oh, look what happened to me. At that moment, you want to console your child. So if at that moment the child says, mom, please, can I have an ice cream? You'd be most likely to say yes. At that moment, you see your child in pain. You would really want to grant your child any request to make that child happy. Especially if that request isn't going to hurt another person. So at this moment when you're hurt and really in pain, think of something you really need or something where you really need God's help. And just say, God, I'm sacrificing whatever happened to me, whatever they did to me. I'm not going to pray for you to hurt that person or to, I'm not cursing that person. But in this my moment of pain and despair, grant me this favor and watch God walk in your life. I've done this on several occasions and it has really worked. So I would advise everybody to try this method. It really works. And of course, sometimes God may not grant you your wish, but think about it this way. What if you pray for something evil to happen to the, pers the other person and God also doesn't grant you your wish? What have you gained? Nothing. So why don't you focus your prayers on something that when that wish is granted, it would be to your benefit. And even if God doesn't grant that wish, 
as a believer, you should have faith and know that at his own time, God will make everything perfect. Thank you so much for listening to this. I know it's very difficult to quit hating or causing or praying bad when you have been deeply hurt. It's very difficult. Sometimes you'll be in turmoil for days. You'll be fighting with yourself. It will take hold of you at night in your sleep. But if you consciously make that effort, every time you feel that bad feeling coming into you and you feel like cursing or praying against that person, use that time to pray for something good that should happen in your life and watch God perform that miracle. I hope you've liked this video and it can inspire you to pray positively in time of pain, anger, and despair.